for my day. I kind of got a late start because it's 10.18 and I got to leave this room by at least 10.40. Oh, okay, let me find an outfit, y'all. Okay, so I'm done for with girl. I'm done for the day. Yeah, I'm done with classes for the day. I just need to go get some water because I ran out of water bottles and I'm thirsty. I'm dying dehydrated. So, but anywho, I'm on my way. I don't know which store I'm gonna go to to get these water bottles, but I hope it's cheap because I only got like five dollars to spare right now. So, I'm so irritated. This being broke stuff is not cute at all, and it's frustrating me. Okay, I'm about to get a little desperate in a few, okay? I'm about to go pop on somebody's pole. Anybody pole. Girl, put me on now. Y'all, I woke up so early this morning because of my mama. This girl called me at 8 a.m. Talking about my son. What you doing? You asleep? Girl, yeah, it is 8 a.m. I, I rolled up like, who is calling me? No, I need to change my do not disturb settings because I got my settings on. I have it on from like 10 p.m. to 8 a.m girl because i do not want calls from 10 p.m to 8 a.m whoever you are do not call me unless you're my mama that's the only person in my grandmother that's it but girl i might have to put her on that disturb do not disturb list because she stay calling me at 8 a.m like girl uh girl's like mama do you know what time it is 8 a.m there right girl, ma it is early <laughs> she wake up at six every day like no one wakes up that early except you <laughs> she is so funny i need to call her back though because I was like half asleep on the phone when she was talking to me. She was like holding a conversation. All I remember her asking me is about some chili that I had made when I was at home. I'm like, girl, I don't know what chili you talking about, but look. Girl, whatever it was. She's like, I was looking for that chili. I was looking at myself like, what you mean you was looking for that chili in my sleep? I'm like, girl. She's like, do you want to call me back? Yes. Girl, because I'm half asleep over here. Good morning, y'all. So I just got off the phone with my mama. I didn't hold her too long because... I got stuff to do today. Like, if I don't start now, then it's not going to get done. I felt I could feel my laziness starting to hit me, like, because I don't have class today. Tuesdays and Thursdays, for these first few weeks, I don't have class. Since one of my teachers decided to change my class times to Tuesday, Thursday, 8 a.m. I'm like, girl, I had a perfect schedule, and here you come, just raining on my parade. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm about to do is, first, I'm going to record this video and watch Black Ink Crew, because I'm going to do a review for Black Ink Crew on my other channel, which I'm on. I'm going to plug in here. And um, then I have to go get groceries. Yeah, then I have to do my MES homework and um, study for that. Then I have to apply to one of my grad schools today, which is going to be exciting. Because I've been, like, waiting to find out if I have to apply or not. Because I didn't have the money. But now I have the money, so I'm happy. I get to apply today. I'm doing the whole thing. Girl, sending off the transcripts, sending off this, sending off that. Because, no. And I'm going to have to express one of the transcripts because they talk about they got a high volume of transcript orders. Boop, doo, doo. No, 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 no. Y'all going to send this off. Send it off. So I'm going to talk to y'all probably after I record this video and go into the grocery store. Okay, so I finished recording my review, which you can check out on my Miss Vivian Talks channel. Okay, I'll put a link somewhere around here if I can figure out how to do it. If I put it over here, if I put it over there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm about to get ready and take this outfit off because I got to dress. And I'm going to um, talk to y'all when I get in the car. Lock my doors when I get in. No matter where I'm at. Got my Aldi bags because I'm not paying for no bags at all. These girls get out my face. Girl, I will carry all my stuff out to the car. I'm next. <laughs> I've done that before. Like, don't judge me. Put everything in my purse and just walked up to my car and dumped it in there, girl. You was not getting no 79 cent out of me for a bag that I should be getting for free. I'm going to go to all these. I asked my friend, like, where can I go grocery shopping for, like, a cheap price? I'm not trying to spend that much money. I just want to buy, like, some little cute stuff that I don't have to go to the cash. But I'm not starving at the same time. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so my friend recommended this place called Leedy's. I've never heard of it. And I've never been. I should ask them, do I need my own grocery bags? Okay. Oh, I'm still in reverse, Vivian. Girl, get your life. So, I'm about to go to Leedy's. Baby, get off your phone. Get out the way, honey bunny. Look like ASAP Rocky. Get your ass out the way. Now, hopefully I don't, I don't need my own grocery bag. Oh, I do. Well, I brought them because I'm a boss. So, I'm about to go over here and see how cheap it is. Because I asked them, is there any cheap grocery stores? I made sure I put cheap in there. Okay, because I'm not trying to spend no money. Mm. Hm. 
Oh, I'm speaking of this girl, Monique. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this because I really don't talk about topics on my vlog, and I think I need to start because I be feeling some type of way. I be having, I be having opinions on things. Okay, now first of all, Monique, she want me, she wants me to boycott Netflix. Okay, okay, cool. I say okay, cool. Why? Why you want? Why you want me to boycott? Why? Because they only offering me five hundred thousand dollars to. Y'all only offering me $500,000 just to do a comedy special. I'm like, okay, that makes sense because it's, you haven't been around in a very long time. So why would they offer you a million dollars or, you know what I'm saying? Or they could have, you know what, they could have offered her a minimum of a million dollars. Because Monique does have an Oscar. She is experienced. She is funny. I would click on her special. Like, I would legit click on that, on her special. No lie. So, why... Okay, this is her point. She brought up that Dave Chappelle got, you know, 13 million. Uh, Amy Schumer, she got like 13 million. Um, who else? Chris Rock, you know, he got 13 million. But you gotta think about it. Dave Chappelle, he's, you don't know what he started at with Netflix because he's been doing the specials for, uh, he's been doing a lot of specials. So he probably did get a low price at first, but then worked his way up. Plus, Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle has given us um, that show on Comedy Central that everybody knows about. Everybody knows about that show. White people, black people, whatever. Everybody knows. Monique, she did like BET. Not you didn't get five hundred million dollars for BET. Dave Chappelle did. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Like you can't compare yourself where you don't compete. Like that. Does, I'm not trying to be rude or offensive. Like I understand you got the Oscar, but Precious was cool. Like her acting in Precious was cool. But I could have. My mama could have did that. Okay, on her bad day honest what Monique could have did in my opinion Monique really could have talked them up to a million she really could have finessed that because it's it's about bargaining she could have finessed and talked their ear off so much that they wanted to offer her a million she could have took that million dollars did that special and flipped it five times like I don't know maybe it's me like I would have finessed my way and made sure that I made it happen like Monique I don't know I think she's trying to like guilt trip us into bullying Netflix when all it's like she's using the current times to get her way with the money with like getting more money and getting booked she's like bullying Netflix into giving her more money and giving her a special and that's not how you do business like she basically just like tarnished her whole reputation with Netflix now now she won't be able to do finesse them out of nothing because they don't want to be bothered like why would you do that like Monique is trying to do it the wrong way she's trying to bully us into helping her get the money no I'm not I'm not boycotting Netflix no don't ask me no more she, she could have took that that five hundred thousand or talked them up to a million and made it work and flipped it and then came back and be like oh y'all lowball me that wasn't fair and then put the pressure on netflix like oh yeah we made a mistake like she actually does have star power and that does suck i will agree that does suck that black women have to we had to prove ourselves to be worthy of certain amounts of money if you look like at viola davis and um oprah or who else is real popular all them other black actresses that are just killing it they have to prove themselves they have to we have to do that we have to show these folks that we are who we are and that's just at the times we are right now we're just paving the way for other black women to come behind us and not have to prove themselves that's what we're doing that's the the dirty work we had to do in 2017 and 2018 times are changing but we have to keep pushing for that change all right so i'm at Lidl's. this is a nice looking store um hopefully i find some good deals if not i'm walking back out and going to aldi's okay so i'm done good deals like i'm happy with what i found in here i think i'm gonna start shopping here for me because they have like good stuff like for they had organic and non-organic options and they had name brand and off brand options so i'm like okay <laughs> okay so hope you can see me so i'm on my way to walmart i just left target i gotta go to walmart even though i'm boycotting because they got the stuff that i need and i like to buy Oh, which sucks, but whatever. And after that, I'm done. Um, I was supposed to be making tacos today for myself in my crock pot for the first time because I ain't never made tacos before in my crock pot. I was such a grandma. Um, <laughs> that's what grannies do. Crock pots. They're excited about cooking stuff in crock pots. Okay, Lord. But I'm on my way to Walmart. 
I'm trying to boycott Walmart because I just feel like they are ghetto and racist and trashy all at the same time. It's just trash. Just trash. Just filthy trash. I just hate it because I was, at first I was boycotting Walmart because, you know, I've always went in there and had bad, like, issues with customer service. And I'm, a, I'm very fickle about my customer service. Especially if I'm treating you right, treat me right. Don't come at me with no, don't come at me wrong. So I've had many, 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 many instances of bad customer service with them. And it's just tiring for me. Oh, fuck. I'm going the wrong way. So I just, you know, um, decided, you know, I'm a boycott. Now I'm really, really, really boycotting because I know there's issues. There's has been issues with um, racial profiling and not racial yeah like racial profiling basically uh that all the black products and most walmarts are locked away while most of the white products are not locked, locked away i know i don't steal i know there are black people that do steal but you cannot do that you like it it's just wrongs me i almost went out it just wrongs me it's just tacky so until they start changing a lot of their ways and their policies and start locking all the products up okay besides the ones that the white girls not using or the other races are not using please please don't shop at walmart i'm not shopping at walmart besides today because i have to okay because they got the microwavable salmon that i like to eat i know it's nasty to eat microwavable salmon but it's actually good and i'm a college student so what y'all want me to do what more do you want from me throw her talking too much but i had a good shopping experience in target today there was a lot of black women in there I guess 2 o'clock on a Thursday is the best time to go shop. Mm.